With the Miss Earth 2022 competition just around the corner happening on the 29th of November this year, I thought that as a South African born person, I would look back at the history of South Africa at Miss Earth. Surprisingly, South Africa has a long history at Miss Earth, pretty much since the beginning of Miss Earth. South Africa has been there and this was surprising for me to learn because as we know the Miss South Africa organization which historically held the licenses for Miss World and Miss Universe and only recently Miss Supranational they've always been the more popular organization whereas I feel like Miss Earth South Africa has sort of fallen by the wayside and has not been as popular but Miss Earth South Africa has managed to place an impressive amount of times at Miss Earth over the years and this video is all about that. I also wanted to look into Namibia's history at Miss Earth because I know that prior to Namibia getting the license for Miss Earth or I should rather say the Miss Namibia organization getting the license for Miss Earth in Namibia this year, I know that there have been a couple of girls from Namibia who have competed at Miss Earth but unfortunately there have only been like two of them so it wasn't really something to make a video about but like I said when it comes to South Africa there have been many 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 girls I would say like 99% of Miss Earth's history South Africa has been there actually I think there's only been one edition that South Africa didn't compete in which we will get to so without further ado in 2001 the year that the Miss Earth pageant started and had their first edition South Africa was actually there and South Africa was represented by Ineke van der Westeisen and she unfortunately went unplaced also I cannot for the life of me find a single photograph of this woman in general nor of her competing at Miss Earth but luckily I did find this little introduction of her so you can see what she actually looked like this woman has since I don't know disappeared from the face of the earth there's like no pictures of her that I could find anywhere of course since then she might have gotten married so of course her surname has probably changed that's probably one of the reasons why I can't seem to find her if you guys know what her new name is please let me know I'd love to look into her a bit more our very first Miss Earth South Africa like I said before there was one year that South Africa did not compete at Miss Earth and that was actually at their second edition in 2002 in 2002 for some reason South Africa did not compete at Miss Earth but in 2003 South Africa was back with Catherine Constantinides and she unfortunately went unplaced but luckily this gorgeous woman is still very much involved in the Miss Earth South Africa organization so that's always nice to see you know even though she went unplaced at Miss Earth she still has a passion for Miss Earth you can see that she really believes in what they stand for in 2004 South Africa was represented by Sally Lung who unfortunately went unplaced and in 2005 Jacqueline Post took up the mantle but she unfortunately went unplaced as well and I must definitely say for these early girls even though it was in the 2000s I struggled to find good quality pictures good quality video of any of them competing I think it's because they went unplaced so there's not really that much emphasis on them but it's really really difficult to find good quality photographs and things like that of them competing unfortunately in 2006 South Africa was represented by Nancy Dos Reis at Miss Earth she unfortunately went unplaced as well so at this point South Africa had competed at like five Miss Earth competitions because remember they didn't compete in 2002 and they went unplaced at all of them but they didn't give up and it's a good thing that they didn't because in 2007 
South Africa got their very first top 16 placement at Miss Earth through the beautiful Bokang Mojane. You might recognize Bokang, she later went on to be Miss South Africa. And I definitely think that Bokang was sort of the catalyst for South Africa to start getting some placements at Miss Earth. In 2008, unfortunately, South Africa again went unplaced when represented by Matapa Maila. But in 2009, luckily, when represented by Chantal Gantham, South Africa once again got a top 16 placement at Miss Earth. In 2010, Nonyebo Dingwa actually got South Africa's highest placement to date at Miss Earth by placing in the top seven. Yes, spoiler alert, South Africa has never won Miss Earth. Um, we've only ever reached the top seven. That's the highest we've ever gotten. Hopefully, hopefully that will change soon. Despite the high placement in 2010, unfortunately in 2011 when being represented by Dominique Mann that year, South Africa went unplaced once again. But luckily in 2012, Tamarin Jardine came back and got a top 8 placement for South Africa at Miss Earth. And in 2013, Ashanti Mbangwa got a top 16 placement for South Africa. But unfortunately for the next two years, in 2014, being represented by Ilza Saunders, South Africa went unplaced. As well as in 2015, being represented by Carla Victor, South Africa went unplaced once again. In 2017, the unthinkable happened when South Africa was already at the pageant doing pre-pageant activities. Our contestant, Irene Mozuris, was disqualified for allegedly being too short, not meeting the height requirements. I'm not exactly sure by how many centimeters exactly she didn't meet it. I mean, I did read some very sensationalist articles that stated that she was like one centimeter too short. Not exactly sure, but allegedly she was disqualified because of her height. And I did check she was at literally doing pageants like pre-pageant activities but she didn't compete at the finals so she was disqualified and that was quite a shock to me it's not very often that you hear about contestants not meeting height requirements and being disqualified in 2018 south africa was represented by a familiar face miss margot fargo who if you're a miss south africa fan you would know that she once upon a time competed at miss south africa as well she ended up placing in the top 12 at miss earth so definitely not bad in 2019 unfortunately when south africa was represented by nazia wadi south africa went unplaced at miss earth yet again during the pandemic, South Africa actually managed to fare decently. Well, I wouldn't use the word decently, but we managed to place for both years that Miss Earth was a virtual competition, which I'm so glad. I'm so glad they're back on the stage and in person, guys. The virtual pageant, just they do not do it for me. But South Africa competed nonetheless during 2020 and 2021 and in 2020 we managed a top 20 placement through the beautiful Lungo Katete and in 2021 we managed to get a top 20 placement yet again through Nompumalelo Maduna. So definitely I think South Africa has been faring pretty okay at Miss Earth. I definitely would not say that South Africa is like a powerhouse or, you know, especially popular at Miss Earth. Definitely not. They're definitely not on the level of Miss South Africa in terms of popularity, in terms of resources, things like that. So unfortunately, they are not able to reach the same heights right now. But Perhaps like in 2007, if they had the right girl, it could be that South Africa got our very first Miss Earth crown. Really guys, I want, I want my countries to do well at 
all of these pageants. That's my dream. But unfortunately, the Miss South Africa organization is is dominating right now. They do really, really well. But I would really love for Miss International South Africa, Miss Earth South Africa and Miss Grand South Africa to step it up as well and do consistently well and be a threat at all of these pageants just like we are seen as being at Miss Universe and recently Miss Supranational. So yes guys, that is South Africa's history at Miss Earth. Be sure to support our girl Zipo Satebe at the upcoming Miss Earth pageant on the 29th. I think it will be live streamed on their official YouTube channel, which I think is Miss Earth TV or something like that. It's going to be so nice to have a live in-person on stage Miss Earth pageant for the first time in a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!